Alright, here's something I want to know, and this is a question for uh, everyone, but I mean I'd love to get input from b-ball breakdown and or pro shot shooting systems. Um, and that is about uh, NBA players and shooting from the seams. Uh, what I mean by that is shooting, you know, getting your hand position in a certain way that you're getting backspin rotation on the ball, right? Now, um, I've heard some NBA players talk about they try to shoot from the seams. I know Ray Allen says, you know, I love to shoot to the seams if I can get to them. However, in a game, I don't necessarily have the time to catch and line the seams up and shoot from the seams. So basically, I'm curious uh, what, and, and this is hard to know because it's hard to see from the quality of film we get, you know, from an orange ball. We can't necessarily see the laces unless we're looking at HD Phantom. What percentage of these shots are these elite shooters getting to the seams and shooting from the seams? And are they shooting from the seams more off of a one-two step, which gives you more time um, on their catch and shoot? Are they shooting from the seams? Um, and this brings up more questions as well, right? Say that I get, I'm getting a seams pass. Am I catching it, you know, are, are these guys catching it on the sides and going up? Are they catching it like this, you know, on top? This is not is a less ideal way to catch it, right? It's just harder. But this way, maybe they catch and go straight from the seams. I'm just curious what these guys are doing. And furthermore, um, if these shooters, and th this is what I've heard from point guards, I've heard Rajon Rondo and Chris Paul, I hear that they know their shooters like the seams, so they try to get the ball to their shooters on the seams. Which means, what NBA guards, point guards, are the best NBA point guards all passing on the seams? I think so, but I'm not sure. I haven't really seen footage. I've just heard, you know, interviews with you know, Paul and Rondo and Ray Allen that, you know, this is something that they like, right? Uh, and if I'm Rondo and I'm Paul and I'm sh passing from the seams, getting this either a snap pass or a thumbs down chest pass, am I getting a nice rotation um, so that these guys can catch and go up? And if so, uh, does that mean that I'm dribbling? The whole time I'm dribbling, I'm aware um, of where the seams are. I'm controlling the seams while I dribble. Is this something that guys are doing? Yeah, I, I think it might be. I think it might be. Um, and I'm curious. Obviously, I don't necessarily have the tools to find out. I believe that it is. Um, it's hard to know from footage. Like, I don't know, maybe it's a question for uh, for Coach Nick to ask these guys if he cares. I don't know that he cares. Or for you guys in, in uh, you know, the subs to uh, to answer that. I just think it's uh, really interesting and you know we have the we have catching off of a hop, uh, dipping the ball and shooting, turning to the basket a uh, little 15 degrees or whatever and swaying forward and 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 it, these are you know these are the new fundamentals that we're seeing all the NBA players doing and I want to know is shooting from the seams a fundamental because if it is, then passing from the seams is a fundamental. And if that's true, then dribbling on the seams is a fundamental. And that goes beyond pro shot shooting. That goes to elite ball handling mastery. And that's a question that I have. Um, I mean, I'd love to get a response from pro shot shooting or b-ball breakdown. If not, that's totally fine too. Um, for those of you guys who are followers of mine, send this their way. I'm not going to do that uh, myself. Or I probably will actually, but um, send it their way. And, uh, you know, I'd love to get a discussion going on this because it's, it's fascinating to me.